Wrangler 4xe fans. I'm gonna try a test that I tried earlier today, only this time I have come back out and I have no battery left, or at least less than 1%. And we're gonna try this hill and see what the max regen does to uh, decelerate things. So I'm gonna use this gate here as my starting point. I'm just gonna let off the brake. And I have no max regen right now. And we're gonna see how fast this thing gets going without any uh, without any regen or anything. I have, don't have my foot on the gas or the brake. And it looks like we got up to about 20 miles an hour. And um, you know, this thing will just roll on out here. So we'll turn around and go back up to the top of that hill. Uh, when I did the test earlier today, I did not realize something that uh, Daniel Fry filled me in on that uh, as if anybody knows anything about EVs in general and PHEVs in general, that um, your regen doesn't work the greatest when your battery is completely full because the car just doesn't have anywhere to store that. And so what Jeep has done, what they did in the design of this vehicle through software is to keep that max region acting the same regardless of battery status. It'll actually use the friction brakes to mimic what the max region will do when the battery is full. I don't know if that's a 90% a thing. I don't know where it would, uh, where they would design that to cross over and start using the friction brakes. But we're here at the same spot. I'm gonna turn on the max region and just again, let off the brake and you can uh, kind of getting the same results that I got this morning. And um, like he was telling me, if you go in and look at the, the power screen, you can see this is all battery. And I'm assuming we would see something different than that. And uh, we got up to about seven or eight miles an hour and it just, it just crept down that hill. Now, you can see we didn't roll out as far as we did. Now let's do one more test. Let's take that back up the hill and let's put it in four wheel low. I'm in two wheel drive doing this test. And, uh, and oh, by the way, people that have been concerned about power when the battery gets drained, let me tell you, I can't feel a difference. I, um, I'm assuming that 15% in, in the battery that we don't see when we go less than 1%. I'm assuming that 15% just keeps the power there. You don't see any difference or reduction in the power at all. So um, let's put it in four wheel low, if I can get it in there. All right, so now we're in four wheel low and I'm at my same starting point. There we go. Yeah, we're rocking uh, two mile an hour. You can see it is really holding the vehicle back. This would be great on trails. And you can get full control out of the throttle. But yeah, that is incredible how much that's slowing the vehicle down and keeping it from, from rolling. And you can see the, uh, you can see what we're getting there. It is just, creeping along and um, you know if I give it a little accelerator pedal of course it's going to do its thing but that is uh, a lot of a lot of hold back without having to apply any brake at all it's just going to keep you uh, keep you where you want to be there so there's a uh, there's a demonstration of that max reach in done the right way Thanks, Daniel, for uh, pointing me in the right direction on that and letting me know about the uh, the friction brake at the uh, when the battery is charged higher there. So there you go. Thanks for watching.